Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my empties for the month of January. So as you already know, my little box will come out where I store my empties. If you are interested in seeing what I finished up for the month of January and how much the total was, then definitely keep on watching. If you are new here, I just want to say hi, my name is Victoria, and I really hope you stay for a while. And if you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you happen to like me, think you can see me popping up on your news feed, then click that subscribe button and a notification bell so YouTube can notify you every single time I upload. And now let's get in with my empties. Alright guys, so I had decided that I'm going to be doing empties videos every single month. And I'm going to be adding up the products to really show you how much I use in that month. Because if you do not know, my goal is to finish up $750 worth of product before 2019 is over. I think that's real doable. I really want to push for 1000 I just didn't want to put a big number and then feel bad when I don't reach it. So I just wanted to put a reasonable number. And I honestly think that it's going to be fine and I'm going to make it past $750. But I only have one problem. It is currently two. 30 so I know my fiance is on his way home with the baby I know he's three years old he's not a baby anymore but he's my baby but I know he's on his way home so I'm gonna have to rush this video and I didn't get a chance to really add up the items first so what I'm gonna do is leave the name and the price of the items on the screen and then at the end of the video when I'm saying my goodbyes and even in the description box I will leave the total amount of all the products that I finished for the month of January so just make sure that you check the description box and you just look at the screen and see the prices so in the description box I will leave the name of the items that I finished as well as the prices and the total amount but I will also put it on a screen for you so now let's get into the empties because your girl is kind of rushing so the first thing that I'm going to show you is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothing this is what it looks like I use this for my two older boys hair now they really have thick curly hair and I like to style their hair in the morning they are currently growing their hair so they could get a ponytail but Right now, while it's in that afro stage, I really like to curl it and style it. And I use this, and I honestly really do enjoy this for their hair. It makes the hair feel really soft, and the curls look nice. So I will be repurchasing this once I finish up the other product that I'm currently using. So the next item, which is actually my very first empty for 2019, was the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I had this for a while, and then I started to focus on it. I'm really happy that I got this out my collection now I really did enjoy it and I do want to repurchase it again I just want to finish up some of the other concealers that I have in my collection first the next item that I finished is the Clinique take the day off makeup remover this is a little sample I got this from Sephora bag and it worked really really good it lasted me about a week I really don't think that I liked it that much to go out and purchase a full size because I do like drugstore micellar waters they do the same thing but I did enjoy it while I was using it. So the next item that I finished up was this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a mini size. Now to be completely honest with you, I do not finish up a mascara completely. I use it for three months, maybe the most four months, and then that's it. I caught it done. I do wear contacts and I feel like that's enough dirt going in and out my eyes. And I don't want a chance, you know, getting a sty or eye infection just for using an old mascara there is a lot of bacteria in mascara just think about it you put the mascara in your eyes and then you put it back in the tube and then it just sits there especially if it's in a hot warm area it just no i'll use it for three months the most for and i'll call it done but to be 100% honest with you i don't know why everybody loves this mascara like i can't figure it out i don't like it it dries it flakes on me i don't think it just, I just don't like it. I also finished up the Wanda Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I think I had this and I think I was using it for more than three to four months. I did get this in a BoxyCharm and then I started to realize like, hold on, wait, when did I do that BoxyCharm reveal? And I'm just so happy to put this out my collection. I really did enjoy this mascara. I know a lot of people were iffy about it. Some loved it, some hate it, but I really enjoyed it. Though I enjoyed it a lot, I don't think I'm to the point in life where I want to pay 
pay more than $20 for a mascara. I also finished up this mini, mini, mini Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturizer. It did last me for about three uses. It was really, really small, but it did last for about three uses. It was an okay lotion, but I know that this brand is very expensive, so I will not be purchasing them at all. So the next item that I finished up, which was actually in my project pan, was this First Aid Beauty Coconut Micella Makeup Melter. This is by far the worst makeup melter I ever tried in my life. All it did was make me feel greasy. It just made me feel like I got oil poured all over my face. It did not take off any makeup. This was the worst. I would not recommend this to anybody. So I also finished up these two samples of the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. This by far is my most number one favorite brand in the world because they just smell amazing. It works for my hair. I usually put the oil in my hair. I used to have the hairspray. That works good. I used to have the curling treatment. That works great. Now my hair is wavy-ish. Like when it's wet, it looks like it's wavy curly. But it's kind of wavy-ish dead. Sometimes straight. This is my natural hair. You can see it's not straight straight. It's still frizzy. And this product really helps for my hair. Not only that, the curling cream that they have really holds in little waves and curls. Like I just really enjoy everything that I tried from this brand. So I just wanted to throw the samples in there. I was going to do like a separate video once a month for the sample empties that I finished. But I figured, you know what? Let me just throw it in one video because it, it still empties, right? It still counts. <laughs> the next item that I am calling done is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This, I have been using it for about three to four months. It still has a lot of product left. But unfortunately, I just don't want to use it anymore. I'm happy to say that now I only have one mascara open in my collection. So now I can just work on that one instead of working on three or four. And then when the time is done, it gotta go. But I'm happy to call this done. When I first tried this mascara, I really did enjoy it. I was really liking it. I thought it was like a dupe for the better than sex mascara, but better. But now I just feel like it's very watery. It gets clumpy and I don't really like it that much. Now the next item that I finished up was the Head & Shoulders Itchy Scalp Care Shampoo. Your girl got dandruff, okay? Your girl got dry scalp. And unfortunately, this is the only thing that seems to work for me. I tried Selsin Blue and... No. So the next item that I finished up is the Head & Shoulders Itchy Scalp Care Shampoo. Your girl got dry scalp. I got I get dandruff. I hate it, but it happens. So unfortunately, this is the only shampoo that really works for me. I tried Selsin Blue, but no. That don't work for me at all. If you have any other shampoos that work for dandruff that you know about, Please let me know. I really want to try something new. I know this is not cruelty free and although I'm not fully cruelty free, I heard something about them having to kill tigers for this shampoo. I'm not sure where I heard it from. I think it's the PNG brand. Something about tigers, something about them killing them. I got already looking up. I should have looked it up before I sat down and filmed this video. So the next item that I finished up is this Cantoon Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. This is what it looks like. It is a mini. I got this from Target in like their little travel section just to test it out for my son's hair. I really did like this. I think I have the full size of something like this that I'm using now and that's why I'm not repurchasing the other one. But it really does smell good. It moisturized the hair and I really do enjoy it so far. So now the next thing I finished up is this Soap and Glory, the scrub of your life. This is like a mini size. I did finish it up. I really do enjoy this brand. I never tried this brand's makeup products, but their bath products, I really, really enjoy. The body butter, I really, really love. So 
I'm happy to say that this is on my collection just because I have two more shower gels from this brand that I need to finish up. So the next item that I finished up is this mini liquid blender cleanser. This is to clean your beauty blenders. And to be 100% honest with you, I do not like this at all. I don't really feel like it cleaned my beauty blender at all. I'm not the type to use liquid cleansers to clean my brushes. To be honest with you, I use the big laundry bar soap Corzote. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I will leave a picture that is heaven that is heaven for your brushes that is heaven for your beauty sponge it gets all the stains out it is just heaven i will never use anything else and that bar of soap only costs about a dollar i heard it's 97 cents in walmart so i will leave a picture up for you guys so you can see what i use that one bar is still lasting me and i think i had it for almost six months and it's still not even close to being done so i also finished up this drunk elephant tlc night serum now i did put this in my seven by spring so unfortunately this is like a little spoiler i am sorry but I did finish this up. I did get a set of two for the nighttime serums for $28 from Sephora. It was like a little mini trial size. But there's literally nothing left. So this is completely finished. I'm not sure how I feel about this product. I honestly didn't see any difference. Maybe I didn't know what to look for. But it didn't make me really look at my skin and, and really feel like wow this is working so i won't be purchasing this because a uh, trunk elephant is really expensive but the next item that i finished up was this clinique prep star eye cream i'm so happy that i have another one of these in my collection because i really did enjoy this product now i got this sample from sephora place so it is a little mini but honestly i'm so happy that i finished it up i'm so happy that i have another one in my collection because i really think that this is really really good and after i finish that second sample i might just go and buy the full size once my no buy is over so the next item that I finished up was this lip balm from the brand Fresh. This is the Sugar Rose. Now this was in my 19 and 2019 project pen. And I'm just so happy to get it out of my collection. I did get this from a Sephora point perk for 100 points. And even though I liked it, I just won't be repurchasing it. But I am happy that I finished it and got it out of my collection so I could move on to something else. Now the next item that I finished up was this tattoo liner by Kat Von D. I did get this in a Sephora replacement and I was using it just because it is an eyeliner and I'm gonna use it up but it started to dry out so I am happy that I could get this out my collection so the last thing that I finished up was this little sheet mask from timeless beauty bar I got this in an ipsy bag this is the glam and glow one I honestly don't even remember how I feel about this product because I used it in the beginning of the month now I do want to try to use sheet mask a little bit more because I have a bunch piled up that I need to get through but I don't really remember how this one was so I apologize but I really can't tell you anything about it so that is it that is all I have for you guys that is all my empties for the month of January I will leave the total price right here on the screen I finished up so much product I'm so excited for it like honestly I haven't even added up the rest of the product but I know it has to be more than like a hundred dollars so I'm so excited because my goal was to finish up seven hundred and fifty dollars in products and I know this has to be more than a hundred dollars so I'm just so much closer to my goal than what I thought I would be for one month like that's pretty exciting so that is it that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching i'm so happy to share my empties with you with that being said i'm just gonna end this video with a thank you so much i hope you enjoy the rest of your day stay blessed and i hope to see you in my next one bye